What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 4. Last time we handled the rest of our bonding events we had to do, so now it's time to get started on these optional requests uh, that we have to handle before heading over to the Panther Gruel for the big meeting. Uh, you know, everything dealing with Operation Mill of Mirage. So, let's take a gander at what I believe is our final set of quests for Act 2. Well, like, quests like this. Um, so let's start with the Avon Hills monster. Uh, obviously on Avon Hills. The monster is called Rostrum. Um, but let's do this real quick. I do believe what we're about to do does lead into the end of Act 2, which is pretty funny because Act 2 didn't feel like it was all that long. It's just pretty much for it. It's like I said, it does feel... To an extent, kind of fillery. Um, but it does look like there's going to be a bunch of... I, I do want to kind of, like, look around. By the way, there is going to be a new book for us to find. But, uh... There will obviously be new stuff for us to buy, like, gift-wise and stuff like that. But I don't know if I want to run to every little place to do that. But, um... Where are we going? Avon Hills? Yeah. How far up is it? Oh my god, it's over by the teleport. Can we just go to... Yeah, there we go. I'm not gonna run up all that way. Definitely looks like one of the monsters you'd see in Gehenna. Kill the gun. Kill the Ether strikes, so she finally has her S-craft in this game as well. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, what? Why was it attacking itself? Thirty one K. How do you like that? Okay. You want Earth? What else was it? Uh, okay. Galleon portal work. We are halfway there. I'm obviously going to make use of uh, this, but unfortunately, it doesn't really uh, do much for me. All right. Yeah. Perfect. 
And now it's over. Goodbye. True Radiant Spin. <laughs> Gale Storm 2. Turbulence 2. Shows how long it's been since we've used Gaius. Alright, what about the other two? Hot Springs? Alright, Aaron Village. Alright, let's go handle that. Since we're here, I can rest here. Actually, at the hot springs. Probably. I do want to see if any of these shops have anything good, though. Like, gift item-wise. Uh, Laura. And Yusis. Okay. Oh, you can't use it right now. Come to think of it, yeah, okay. Well, I guess we'll handle it. Ah, oh, there you are. You certainly didn't waste any time. Looks like there's something strange going on with the water here. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels off. Is it an abnormality in the spirit veins, maybe? Caused by the Great Twilight? You always know how to cut right to the chase, don't you? Essentially, yes, that's the case. The spring is actually linked by spirit vein to hot spots of mana all throughout Erebonia. The twilight seems to be the most likely cause of the corruption here. We could simply have Rose purified by force, but her mana is far too strong for that. An unskilled hand could throw things all out of balance. So what I'd like to do here is conduct a proper purification ritual. That would probably be for the safest. Rose doesn't exactly have a fine, gentle touch after all. I think I get where this is going. As for what we can do, though, I assume you want us to go to each of those spots you mentioned? Exactly right. It will take no small amount of effort. But the situation isn't particularly severe either. I have no problem holding things off for the moment if you're busy. What do you say? Well, we'd be more than happy to help. We made some good use of these springs ourselves, after all. Where exactly are we headed, and what do we do when we get there? I believe these should answer your question. Ash steak. Ash, of all woods, is particularly conductive of mana, right? Right, I'd like for you to drive a stake into each location where these abnormal phenomena are occurring. Doing so should allow us to conduct the purification ritual from here. My divinations were able to descry three of these hot spots. The first is close to Alistair. Make your way to Asgiliath Basin. You'll soon be near it. Next lies around Milsante, somewhere on a path leading towards the hills. And finally, there's one on Brion Island, though where I can't exactly be too sure. The divinations mark its location on the center of the aisle, so I imagine it may be hidden am amid the terrain. Got it, just leave all the searching to us. We'll try not to keep you waiting. Much appreciated, I wish you luck. Alright, let's get to it. Yeah, I mean, swimming in purple sludge doesn't, well not swimming, but relaxing in purple sludge doesn't sound like the best. All right, so uh, I guess we'll go to Elsgiliath Basin first. I might have to go to Depths, depending on where it is. Oh no, it's right up here. <clears throat> oh, I see, it's these like water points. This must be the place. Didn't take us long to find this one, huh? Yes, it's just like the hot spring in Aaron must be connected to the spirit veins. Ah, I see, it's the same place. Are you okay, Instructor Reen? Do you know something about this place? Just a little. I was passing through an assignment for the government. 
I went out one night to do some training and discovered the spring. No one was around, so I got right in and enjoyed myself for a while. Of course, back then it wasn't this weird color. Uh, weren't you on a mission? It's very much like our instructor to go into a random hot spring he came across while training. Anyway, when I came back the next day, there was no sign of it anywhere. I asked around town and they said it sounded like a fairy spring from their old folk tales. I guess it must be connected to Aaron somehow. A hot spring that disappears and reappears at random. It does sound like something out of a fairy tale. Well, I'm pretty sure we got the right place. Let's drive us the steak Dallier gave us. Okay, this looks good. Now we only need to find the other two spots. Alright, the other one was near... Where was it? Well, the second one, rather. It was near Milsante, right? Maybe on the by road? Yep, okay. Yeah, there's no quicker way to get there, so... I mean, I guess technically you could just go... Yeah, here. This is a faster way. You go to the entrance, and then you leave the entrance. You're right there. Right? This leads to Milsante by road? Yep. Okay. That was easy. You're gonna be afraid of me, right? <clears throat> Well, finding a hot spring here of all places is pretty wild. This is it, right? Right, this place has to be connected to Aaron through the spirit veins. This is a pretty choice spot. It's close to the tracks, but not out in the open, so it still feels private. The wind rolling over the hills and the sound of the occasional passing train can really add to the atmosphere. Sometimes I forget just how enthusiastic you get about hot springs, instructor. There are healing springs, kind of like this one, in the northern part of the North Highlands. Focus, everybody. Let's drive the stake Dallier gave us. That's two down. Only one left. Let's do this, guys. Yeah, I said the third one's on Briona Island. They didn't say where, though, so... Okay, it's up this way. Oh, is it gonna be in this cave where uh, Reen and Laura had a little uh, kissing time? There it is, wow, of all places for it to be. But there's no mistaking that color. Yes, this place must be connected to, okay, you already said that. A naturally occurring hot springs. Nature sure is wonderful. It's a good size, too, connect, considering it's connected to the other side. Once it's purified, we should all come back here and... Instructor Reen, control yourself. Please calm down, Instructor. How could this appear out of nowhere? The ritual put a lot of stress on Reen. If he keeps pushing himself, we're going to be in trouble. She seems really deep in thought. Maybe we can get everyone together for an SSS vacation sometime. Anyway, we should get on with driving in the stakes. Let's work out which side we need to do it from. And that's the last one. This should be enough to begin the purification trial. Let's head back to Aaron and check in with Dahlia. Alright. Back to Aaron by the hot springs. Where is it? Fairy Spring. <clears throat> I see you've driven the three stakes in as I requested. Magnificently done. We should begin the purification ceremony at once. Rain, if you would. Me? 
Yes, your status as a sacrifice to the twilight allows you to synchronize with Erebonia's spirit veins more readily than most. Enter the spring and unifying your heart with and soul with the waters will make the ritual that much easier. Though I'd be it'd be even more effective if you entered with a partner. You mean Wait a sec, you can't be serious. Does it have to be someone of a particular gender or someone exceptionally special to Reen? Those things are of no relevance whatsoever. This ritual aligns with the macrocosm of the world spirit veins with the macrocosm of humanity, causing them to resonate together. The process is simply easier with two participants rather than just one. That's all there is to it, I guess. No reason to feel embarrassed, right? After all the prep work we put into this, you can't expect to turn back now. Go ahead and choose someone, Instructor. Alright, just give me a moment to think it through. Either <laughs> you just choose Tio. That'd be kind of funny. I'll just choose Laura. If it's necessary for the ritual, I don't mind lending you a helping hand. Appreciate it, Laura. Shall we get started then? There you have it. It's fixing all of them. worked out seemingly thus were the Aaron village hot springs completely purified the hot springs discovered elsewhere were also purified and can now be used freely oh how convenient so if we're ever out there all right uh well may as well use it now that we can enter the hot spring with T randy and Tio to trigger a sub event all right well Let's do it then. I mean, why would we not, right? Uh, so let's get back to the Merc Bar. Let's bring Brandy with us. I'll just uh, remove guys from the party for a moment, I suppose. Where is he? All right, back to Aaron. <clears throat> Rena and the others enjoyed the hot springs and took their time resting in the village. By some stroke of fate, an unexpected combination of people ended up soaking in the springs together. Ah, this is amazing. You said it. I missed this place. It was a damn shame they closed it down for a while because of all the great twilight commotion. You must be happy, Instructor Ian. I imagine a hot spring maniac like you would be going into withdrawals with it down. You sure have your quirks, love for hot springs, and Elise. You morph into a whole different person when it comes to her. Really? I never realized. Elise and I spent a couple weeks together. She's one of the sweetest girls I've ever met. Tio's head looks like... I know it's because of the water, but it doesn't look like it's attached to her body. Just because of the shadows. How can I put it? She has that Erebonian dignity about her, but is still so approachable. I appreciate hearing that, Tio. She still has room to grow like anyone else, but she really is incredible. I thank Eidos every day for having the perfect sister. Well, he's past the point of no return, ain't he? That's really saying something, given they're not even blood-related. 
makes you feel bad for Elise, getting so smothered with all that attention, though it is possible she likes it. Starting to think Rain and Lloyd share some things in common, despite their main differences. How so? Let me guess, they're both clueless when it comes to interpersonal relationships? You know, I really have to thank you again, Tio, Brandy, for sticking with me this long. Haha, <laughs> what brought this on? No need to thank us. We instructors gotta look out for each other, right? And the Crossbell Police and Epstein Foundation can't turn a blind eye to what's happening in the Empire. Not to mention, my home country, Remy Faria, it's been dragged into all this chaos as well. Ah, uh, yeah, we did get a bad... We did have a bad feeling about that. And we've run into some people that seem to be involved. Well, all that aside, you do have my utmost gratitude for helping me get a lease back. Assuming we eventually get all this... Uh, sort out this mess, would you do me the honor of visiting my hometown, Ymir? And that invitation extends to everyone in the SSS. Once the matter of Crossbell regaining its independence is settled, too. Oh. Thanks, Rain. That means a lot from Instructor Rain. I agree with them. As complex of an issue as it may be, I believe Crossbell should be independent. And I imagine the same is true for many others in Class 7 and Thor's. I really appreciate that, Kurt. So your hometown's known as the Hot Springs Paradise, isn't it? The best Erebonia has to offer, from what I hear from Relize. If that's the case, I'd really like to bring along Kia and everyone else in the SSS, and maybe a few others. Noel, Fran, Risha, Solidar, and Ilya, and you can't forget Cecile and Shizuku, of course. I mean, why stop there? I gotta bring the Chief, Wazi, Jonester, Arios, and Dudley, too. Let's not leave out sight and copy. Everyone is welcome. I know an inn up there, the Phoenix Wings, has plenty of rooms. Well, that was sweet. Although Rain heard a lot of names, he obviously isn't going to know. Are there any more, like, special ones? Okay, no. Alright, let's handle the last request, and then we'll be ready to start this, uh, I was gonna say operation, but I guess meeting. Uh, okay, so we gotta head to Parm. Not Parm by road, Parm itself. Oh, but actually not, we're not gonna be done yet. We have to find the, uh, the 3 and 9 book. I also want to see if we can find any more, like, items. Hi, Iris. What a... Is there a chance she has the book? Even at Briona Island, you say? I don't like the sound of this. There's no trace of a sudden change in the ecosystem, even in the records from 50 years back. But why now? Did Kenneth know why this was happening? Does it have something to do with why he disappeared? We still have no idea whether he's alive or dead. And yet you still haven't given up on him. You must care about Kenneth very much. Well, well, what? You've got it all wrong. Kenneth and I are, you know, just fishing buddies. Methinks the lady doth protest too much. Looks like my hunch was right on the mark. Miss Annabelle? Yes? I deeply regret my earlier actions. I was doing you a disservice. You may consider your engagement to my son, William Null and Void. If your family objects, I'll smooth things out with them. I would much prefer you to follow your heart in regard to Kenneth. Thank you. What is going on? I've never even told Kenneth how I feel, but now his father knows? Someday Annabelle's life will calm down a little, but that day is not today. Oh, uh, that's just to ask about the fish, okay. Alright, Lord Quinn. Let's go say hello. Helena, Luna, Claire, where are... Oh, this is the guy the key from last game. We helped out his family. 
What was it? The, the daughter lost... The daughter lost something. I can't remember what his daughter lost. They couldn't have gone to the wrong place, could they? We were to meet at their favorite inn. Pardon me, we're here to... We're, we're here about your request for help. Ah, excellent. Wait, were you not the kind students? That's what it was. It wasn't for the daughter. It was the wife's lost wallet. Haha, <laughs> I guess that might have been us. Well, anyway... Would you help me find my family? It may be a bit time-consuming, if that's all right. Sure, why don't you tell us the whole story? Now, where should I begin? Even we nobles have been rather busy lately with the current situation going on. I've been liquidating some of my assets to raise funds for the army. My wife's family has been doing the same. She returned to her father's estate to supervise the liquidation, taking our daughter and our maid with her. Oh, I see now. You must be feeling lonely without them. I am, yes, but it's only temporary. It's nothing compared to what families of the average soldier have to endure. Anyway, everything was more or less sorted, and I thought the chance to meet up with them could be a break for us all, so I sent them this letter. I'm so glad you're finally coming home. I'll meet you halfway so we can travel together from there. I'll see you at the inn that serves, both, serves those pies you love so much in our favorite town to relax in. Why don't they just say where you want to meet? This isn't the first time we've had a request like this. Where It was with Patry and uh, Cargo. They both had opposite places to meet because the map was upside down. Instead of just saying, hey, let's meet in this town. I've been waiting here, but there's been no sign of my wife or our daughter. Did they get lost on the way? Were they caught up in some accident? I'm so worried. My stomach's in knots. I completely understand. Are you sure your wife knew this is where you meant? Absolutely, their chicken pies are unforgettable. Nothing extravagant, but the flavor was simply perfect. My wife and daughter loved them. That might be true, but your letter sounded very vague. Maybe your family went to a different place that also has good pies? We don't mean to be dismissive of your worries, sir, but this does seem like the most likely explanation. That hadn't crossed my mind. I thought this was the only place it could possibly be, but... Well, you seem to be the experts on this sort of thing. Please find my family. We will, I promise. The inn in their favorite town to relax in, and they like the pies. Well, this is probably a good place to start looking. It's got to be somewhere as quiet and peaceful as Parm, at least. Alistair and Milsante are likely candidates as well. Milsante is what I was thinking about. There's also that place on the road to Lamar. But I guess it doesn't count as a town. The town does have an inn with great pies, too. That's something to go on, at least. Alright, we're going to start with Milsante, because if they hadn't given us a clue, that's where I was going to start anyway. Well, white birch in. Let's take a look. This would be a perfect lunch spot. You're just up here again. You see the water. That'd be so nice to eat lunch out there. And it's a nice quiet town too. Not a bustling city. Oh, hey, uh, you're here. What was your name again? Nielsen. It's been some time since I was last in Erebonia. The records have brought many things to light that weren't previously visible. But the seeds of chaos have begun to sprout. The various powers have begun to converge and enact their respective plans. Now the question is, what role shall I play upon this stage? Okay, you are so suspicious. There's still, like, this fan theory that he might be part of Ouroboros or something. But there's nothing in the games th thus far. At least up to the point we're at now. Uh, even past this point that have, you know, pointed out anything more. Well, we found uh, Helena. Uh, what is keeping my husband, Luna, and Eclair? I really wanted to eat this place fish pie with my whole family. You think this could be... Yeah, it might be one of Lord Quinn's family members. Pardon me, may we ask you, may we ask you a question? 
You mean my husband is waiting in Parm? I mean, I really love Parm, but did he forget about how all we talked about, uh, how, we, okay. Did he forget about how we all talked about how Milsante and its beautiful scenery is the best? My husband even said this inn is the best because it'll fix up a fish pie using the fish we catch as a family. I can't believe it. He just does whatever it comes to his mind. I can't say I didn't expect this. I think they've completely misunderstood where they were supposed to come meet one another. Is that why Luna and Claire aren't here too? Now that you mention it, your daughter and the maid aren't here with you, huh? Yes, there was some luggage I want to sort out, so they left before I did. So that's what happened. They may have gone to the wrong town as well. Somewhere else? I can't think of anywhere else they would be. This is Luna we're talking about, so it's entirely possible she completely ignored the whole town part of the directions. Haha, <laughs> understood. In that case, we'll continue to look for them. Thank you for your help. Well, then shouldn't she go to Parm so we can have everyone together? So where else? So it's not a town. Well, if they did say Alster was a possibility. May as well check. No, but there is something up here. Hi, Tilia. Oh, hey. Blonde and I were just swapping book recommendations. Oh, we found it. I'm throwing my weight around behind three and nine this time. Have you heard of it? It's rocketing up the charts like no other. If you guys have the time, you should definitely check it out. All right, we got three more to find. I can tell this book's been well-loved. Thank you, Tilia. We'll take good care of it. All right, well, obviously this isn't where we... Wait, someone's over there. Who's who's at uh Coming here I can remember what happened 17 years ago like it was yesterday. I heard screams coming from the mansion. I ran as fast as I could, but I was too late. If only I had known sooner, but there's no point in dwelling what's already happened. So they were ignoring the town part, but... Let me see. The rest lodge is in Mil Oh, near Alster. Oh, the rest lodge! Right, 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 right. So where, uh... Where Edel, Edel's family owns. Is she here? Yep. Yeah, all kinds of people in here. Hi, Rex. I see. I'm glad Bridget is doing all right. Yeah, I wish I could say the same for Alan. Still, got some good intel out of the whole thing, so that's something. Speaking of which, you hear any interesting rumors lately, Edel? I might have. I could share some of them with you if you would only do a little something for me. Oh, Rex. Absolutely. Anything you want. What you need? A private photo shoot? I can bring out your inner beauty like you wouldn't believe. Is that a yes? Wonderful. I was just heading to my family's estate to water the plants. I could use some help. Oh, is that all? Well, I guess I can make for some good shots, too. If not for photography, Rex would only have one thing on his mind. But still, Edel and Rex together, huh? Seems like they were just exchanging intel, but maybe there's something there. I don't know, but you are probably the last person to ask, Green. Since you can't even tell about all the other women that fawn over you. Well, we found them. What is taking mother and father so long? Don't they know how long it's been since we've been together as a family? Lady Luna, are you sure we're in the right place? Master Quinn's letter told us to meet at the inn that serves those pies you love in our favorite town to go and relax. Of course I'm sure. Besides, this is the only inn in town. The pie they serve at this lodge is some of the best I've ever tasted. That's Lord Quinn's daughter and maid right there, isn't it? 
Sorry to interrupt, but we might be able to help you out. What? Father's actually waiting at the inn in Parm. I guess the chicken pot pie they have there is pretty tasty. <laughs> I knew this couldn't have been where he meant. Sorry for putting you uh, to all this trouble. Have you found Mother someplace else already? Yep, we ran into her in Milsante at the White Birch Inn. I knew it. That place has the best fish pie in all of Lamar. Their menu could give this place a real run for its money. But I'd still rather have the walnut pies from here any day. Uh, glad to hear it. In any case, let's get you two back to Lord Quinn over in Parm. Helena, Luna, Claire. I was so worried about you. I feared you got lost or something happened to you. I'm still shaking from the nerves. Father, I had no idea. Sorry for worrying you so much. It's entirely my fault, sir. I should have been the one taking the lead. Dear, I'm so sorry we made you worry to think we'd end up causing you so much stress. There's nothing to forgive, my love. I'm just so relieved to see you. As am I to see you, but I have to tell you this, dear. The description you gave us, favorite town in those pies we love so much, anyone would think it was the White Birch Inn at Milsante. It was you who went to the wrong place, not us. What are you saying? I absolutely, I obviously meant the White Footpath Tavern and Inn in Parm. I thought you meant the Noke Rest Lodge. Miss, each location we visited on your family trip was the most wonderful place. Claire's right. Uh, it's just as Claire says, isn't it? When it comes down to it, every place we visit could be a contender for favor, couldn't they? Uh, I suppose. Once this war is over, we should travel together again. Let's continue making precious memories as a family. We'll discover more and more places as we like, okay? What a wonderful idea. Yeah, I can't wait. I'd be honored if I could accompany you all. Thank you so much for finding my family. Without your help, it might have taken days or even weeks before we were reunited. I'm in your debt. It's our pleasure. We can't imagine how terrible it is to be separated from your loved ones. I'm just... Oh, we can imagine. I'm just glad we, you were able to be of assistance. We were able to be of assistance. Jeez. I hope you always get along as well as you do now. All right, well, we're done with everything, and we did find the book. I just want to make a few stops to a couple places just to see if we can find any more gift items before we end the video. So what other stores do we have here? All right, really just this. Wait, what? Oh, Inspector Reiner. He's uh, Machius' friend. Inspector Reiner, what are you doing here? I'm here on business. What else? I uh, heard about what happened in Ordis. About Her Highness and the other person being confined in the confrontation with Governor Regnitz, too. It got me fired up. I decided to look into things in case there was any information we could use to build a case against the government. Even a remote town like this isn't free from conscription and requisitioning orders. It must be hard on them. Yeah. Unfortunately, stopping the war outright is beyond the Inspectorate's purview. But if we can expose the government's unlawful activities, that may help. It could disrupt their schedule, perhaps even change the course of the war in some small way. Rest assured, I'll be doing everything in my power. Thank you, we really appreciate any help you can give us. Machias' co-worker are really hard at work. As silly as he always seemed, uh, he's obviously working hard. All right, um, okay, so we're done here. I can't imagine this place would have anything, but I guess it doesn't hurt the look. Can't use our vehicles in here. Nope. 
Uh, St. Ark, I guess, wouldn't be the worst place to look for some stuff. We got the depart- in this area we have the department store to look at. Right, the leather belt we bought for Ash, I believe. Nope. All right. There is that exchange shop around here as well. Uh, which way? Can't imagine you'd have anything besides fresh juice. The freshness of the fruit, the rich aroma, this juice is amazing. Why, my farm better kick things up a notch if you want to keep up. It's a real shame the stall's got to close down soon. You've got a great thing going here. Well, I really appreciate that. You know, you're not the only one I've heard that from. There have been quite a few people upset over our closing. If we could just get enough Mira and inventory, we might be able to survive. In that case, how about you work with me to keep the stall open? Our supplies got requisitioned too, but maybe together we can turn this around. Wow, I never thought of that before. You might be onto something. Well, that's good. Oh, may as well buy this. Champier. Lady Theora, Etta. Horrible Factory, Cafe and Inn. There's got to be something in here. Oh, that's right. Can't be gifted to Crow. Oh well. Yeah, we can't go to Ordis. We haven't been, uh, we haven't really looked at the places in Raquel recently, so maybe Raquel has a few, uh, items of interest. part of the store, but no one's working it. From what I've heard, there's some trouble stirring up over at Thor's main campus, too. The Arc Royale's gone missing, along with some of the students. The vice principal classified it as an official leave of absence, but all the instructors and government sent over seem pretty on edge. So that's what's going on at the main campus. It means it wasn't just the Durflinger that escaped, right? Seemed to know a lot. Oh, I see now. You got a connection with a certain information broker to keep you in the loop. Well, you caught me. The informant over in Trista is on a whole other level of skill than any I've seen. Makes you almost jealous of what they can get away with. What was his name? Mict? Sounds like they're working on procuring weapons and keeping up a pretty lucrative trade. I guess that's not so different from here. I see. Yep, that's Mict, all right. Vice Principal Heinrich and the others are keeping things under control as best they can. There shouldn't be any problems over there. Yeah, good old Heinrich. Yeah, and then the Fuga Braid, which... I don't want to go searching for all these random items. All right, I think we're just gonna end things off here. Uh, well, I guess we could head back to the Mark Box. So next time we're gonna get started on heading over to the Pantagruel. 
So uh, we can start this big meeting to see uh, what plans Muse has for everyone involved. But I guess we can report these in first. Alright, so uh, like I said, next time we're going to handle all of that. So I uh, look forward to that. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.